The time people spend waiting for the city's 911 dispatchers to answer their calls is a big problem. To fix it, city leaders vowed to consolidate St. Louis's three dispatch centers under one roof. Tonight, the I-Team's Christine Byers explains why the deadline to do that was missed and what's being done in the meantime. EMS location of your emergency. Posts from people calling 911 in St. Louis only to be put on hold are all over next door. Matt and Soulard was on hold for an hour after someone got hit by a car. Craig in Lafayette Square gave up after 10 minutes. Rochelle wanted to report a road rage shooting, but never got an answer. And just this past weekend, two women were robbed at Knife Point on this parking lot just south of Bush Stadium. They didn't want to go on camera, but they told me that they were on hold with 911 for so long that they decided to report the crime to police the next day. In August, St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones and her public safety director, Dan Isom, pledged to fix the problem. It's no secret that our 911 system needs our support. Part of that plan called for the consolidation of the city's three dispatch centers, police, fire and EMS under one roof. We've been meeting every week about consolidating the personnel of fire and police. Um, we hope that that will be done in October. But October came and went, and the city's three dispatch centers are still separate. You said October. Here we are, past October. Here we are. Part of the problem, Isom says, is starting salaries. EMS dispatchers start out making around $31,000. Police dispatchers make between thirty-eight to 41000 and fire equipment dispatchers can make anywhere from forty-nine to $74,000. We're competing against ourselves. Isom thinks the way to fix the problem is by eliminating titles and creating levels of dispatchers. Paramedics on the way. The idea is to get the pay equal for EMS dispatchers uh, and police dispatchers, and then to have uh, different levels where you can progress through your career. You can come in as a one, you could go to a two, and then eventually, hopefully, you could get up to a three. On the scene investigating. Explain how combining all of these dispatchers will help reduce wait times. When you put personnel and two operations into the same building, you have the same leadership and the same management that provides consistency uh, and direction. And it also allows you to the flexibility to move your personnel around where needed. What is taking so long to get the consolidation to happen? The personnel division is responsible for merging classifications. Um, we have given, we believe, a, a complete proposal and draft plan to them. In a statement, Acting Director of Personnel Brian Beckelman told the I-Team that the proposal isn't complete and they're waiting for a list of duties for each dispatch level. Until that happens, callers reaching out for help may continue to be left on hold and upset. It is frustrating, but more importantly, uh, it's frustrating for the citizens. Um, I think every incremental step that we can do to improve the system is better for public safety. And so it, it is frustrating that it's taken so long to do what seemingly to me seems um, pretty simple. For the I team, Christine Byers, five on your side. Isom warns people who call 911 don't hang up. Calls are taken in the order they're received. So if you hang up, you're just putting yourself at the back of the line. He also talked about some shorter term fixes. And to learn more, visit Christine's story on KSDK.com.